guys, it is Sunday afternoon right now. It's almost five o'clock and I'm sitting on Quinn's bedroom floor because I filmed my what's in my diaper bag video like two Sundays ago, I think, and it's already all edited, ready to go up. And I actually ended up reaching out to the diaper bag company and they offered to do a giveaway of the diaper bag that I'm showing. So that's super cool. But since I already had the whole video edited, filmed, literally ready to upload before I even reached out to them, I need to add in the giveaway rules. So I'm about to film that. The giveaway is gonna run for a week. So when this vlog goes up, the giveaway should still be going on. And if you haven't entered, you should go watch my what's in my diaper bag video so you can enter to win the diaper bag. It's the one that I show and I've showed it in so many videos because I love it. So, Quinn is being so loud right now. Even if you don't need a diaper bag, it's so nice to give as a gift, or honestly, it's so like pretty, it could be used as a purse. So, definitely enter if you want to win a diaper bag. So after I'm done filming this giveaway part of my video, I'm actually gonna be in here packing Quinn's suitcase because we're going on a little road trip this week. It's only gonna be like, two and a half days, but we're driving to Tennessee because Eric's sister and her family are moving from Alabama to Tennessee and we're gonna go help them move. I'm so excited for this. I just need to get away. Um, my family was actually supposed to have a family vacation this summer and it was gonna be over this last week and we ended up canceling it a few months back and I don't wanna complain about it because I know there's way worse things that have happened to people because of the virus, but it does still kind of stink, obviously. And my family hasn't been on a family vacation with all of us since I was like, I was 12. So it's been years since we've taken a family vacation and this was gonna be the year, but we'll rebook something. And Eric and I ended up booking something for me and him and Quinn in a couple months from now, just something else small, but just to get away. All of that to say, I'm very ready for this road trip, even though it's gonna be kind of like we're working the whole time, unpacking and unloading stuff. It's gonna be fun to see family because we haven't seen his sister in like eight months since Christmas. Look how cute they are. You going for a ride with dad? She was tired of her swing, so <laughs> try this yeah, out. Yeah, you were He's... making so much noise. Ace is jealous. He wants to be in there. <laughs> Eric actually just packed up her pack and play that she sleeps in every night and we're gonna have her sleep in her crib tonight. Um, she sleeps in here for naps all the time, but we haven't actually had her sleep in here overnight yet But since we need to pack the pack and play We decided we're gonna have her sleep in here tonight And then we'll obviously just move her back because we're not ready for her to sleep in here overnight all the time yet, but We're gonna do it for one night and we might pull her crib over closer to the door and stuff because we don't even have a monitor in here or anything Okay, I just finished filming my giveaway rules and now I'm gonna pack your stuff I think I'm gonna have her in here with me so that Eric can get some of his stuff packed. You wanna come in here with mom? Ace is going to the border. He doesn't know, but he's gonna go see all of his friends. Then when he gets back, he's gonna get groomed at a new place that we've never gone to because his groomer was so booked. Today is July 26th and I booked his, I called to book his grooming appointment at his regular place, like at the vet. It's like a one-stop shop. We get him groomed there, all of his medical stuff there. I tried to book it probably like two weeks ago, maybe three. And the earliest opening they had was August 7th and he really needs groomed. So we're actually taking him to a different place that we've never taken him. Hopefully it looks okay. He's pretty matted. I have my stuff out to pack for Quinn. Hi. Did you sneeze? Quinn's gonna be over here playing with her little toy jungle. She doesn't grab these things yet, but I think she will soon because she definitely like looks at them a lot. And I've actually been giving her this thing. I don't know if you guys watched my 24 hours with the newborn, but I was saying that she wouldn't really hold this yet, but now she'll hold on to this for like a super long time. And she sticks it in her mouth. Yeah, you do. Anyway, she's gonna be over here and I got her basket of clean laundry that I just washed this morning. And then we're gonna take this little black suitcase for her. It's pretty small and we'll just put all most of her clothes and everything in there. We are also taking her pack and play for her to sleep in. And then we're also gonna take the Mamaru, I think, because it's gonna be nice to have somewhere to just set her. Obviously, since his sister is just moving in, there's gonna be like no furniture or anything in the house. So we're gonna need somewhere to just set her other than the floor sometimes. There will be times when I'll just wish I had her swing. So we have the room in the car, so we're probably gonna pack her swing. This is the list I made of what I need to bring for her so far. I'm guessing once I start packing, I'm gonna remember more things that I don't have on here. I also made a list for pumping. 
It'll be so nice when we get to the day when I don't have to pack my pump for a road trip. What? A road trip? <laughs> but for now, I do. Out of control. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free. When we were 17. I got the laundry all folded and her sleep sacks never dry all the way in the dryer because if I leave the Velcro undone, it sticks to everything else in the dryer and if I Velcro it, it just doesn't dry all the way. So I hung those up there so they can just finish drying. I think Quinn is getting hungry. So I'll probably finish the packing or actually start the packing after she eats. We took a break from everything we were doing and Quinn ate, Eric fed her while I pumped and now Eric had to run over to his parents' house to grab something and I'm making dinner. And in my last vlog, I said that if you guys have ever tried any recipes I've showed to, to tell me in the comments and so many of you left me comments saying you've tried different recipes that I've shown and it made me so happy. I literally was like smiling every time someone would comment something else they've tried. It literally made my day. So. Thank you for letting me know because, I don't know, it was so much fun to read all the comments and see what you guys thought of the recipes I've shown. Um, I'm making little flatbread pizzas right now and I know I've shown this a few different times and I've shared the recipe. They're about to go in the oven, I just have to put a couple more things on, but I don't have like an actual recipe anywhere for these. I got the idea from some friends actually and I just never wrote it in my recipe book or anything because it's super easy. I always keep these flatbreads on hand, they're called naan, I think that's how it's pronounced, and we just always have them in the fridge, like every week if we have used them up I buy more and we make barbecue chicken flatbreads. Most of the time we do these, they're just little pizza flatbreads. All I do is put a flatbread and then I use cream cheese instead of pizza sauce and then I put chopped spinach on top of the cream cheese, then shredded mozzarella, pepperoni, I always use turkey pepperoni. I don't know if it's healthier or not, but I tell myself it is. I always sprinkle Parmesan cheese on top and then garlic powder and Italian seasoning. I'm actually out of Parmesan cheese and on mine, I usually chop up some baby tomatoes and put them on, but I'm out of those too. Since we're leaving, we're low on groceries right now, so I'm kind of just trying to use up what we have. Obviously, you can add on any more toppings that you want, and then when it's done, I just put it in the oven at like 400 degrees for 10 minutes, and then it's perfect. Guys, Eric's about to put some freeze pops in the freezer, but we're mesmerized right now because when he flips them, there's like bubbles that go up and it's like a race. All right, my money is on the blue one. Why, because you were just saying that because I just said blue wins every time. I'm going for orange because I have Which three one? chances. Oh. Just orange. Oh, purple. Blue. No, purple one. Right, we'll have to replay the video, but blue is blue. <laughs> Purple again. Eric eats like eight of these a day. I've had two today. Well, then you still have six to go. <laughs> Eric's about to get a haircut. We have Quinn watching in case she ever has to do this. You gonna give dad a haircut someday? <laughs> this is gonna be the third haircut I've given Eric since quarantine started. I mean, we're not really like quarantined, but. I mean, I could go back to my barber. I just haven't. I don't know why. I would love if you went back to your barber. <laughs> it's like, it saves us a couple dollars, you know? Yeah, but it, that's like worth it to me because this is stressful. But Especially, you did a good job last time. Not really. You didn't like it last time. You made me fix it. Well, once it was fixed, I liked it. <laughs> It's actually quite a bit later now, it's almost 10, and I'm gonna finish up packing Quinn's stuff so that I can pack my stuff. Every time we go on a trip, I tell myself that I'm gonna pack early so I don't have to be up so late, and then I just don't. I really don't like packing, and I either overpack or underpack, and it's just, I don't know. I do have to be up kinda early tomorrow since I'm taking Ace to the border, so I don't wanna go to bed really, really late, but Quinn does actually have another feeding tonight, so I'm at least gonna be up till then. I just finished putting everything in her suitcase. It's gonna go in here. So I have little short sleeve outfits, a couple long sleeved ones, and then her pajamas, and then I have diapers and sleep sacks, and 
up here I just have a bib and a couple headbands and socks. I probably won't even end up using the headbands, but I'm just bringing them so that if I do want them, I have them. And I'm also gonna put her baby carrier in there in her little sun hat. And then her bib, I need to put in her diaper bag because I'm gonna keep that like in the main part of the car with us tomorrow. There are more things on her list, but some of these are going in the diaper bag and then some of them we're gonna do like a separate bag with bottles and her milk stuff. Oh, another thing that's going in here that I don't have in here yet are her vitamins because I do need to use them in the morning for her feeding. So I haven't put those in here yet. It's about a six and a half hour road trip and she eats every three hours still or around there. So if we feed her right before we leave, then we can feed her halfway through when we stop, which we'd probably be stopping then anyway for like a bathroom break or whatever. And then we can feed her when we get there. So I think it'll probably be perfect. And it's technically a shorter road trip than it was when we went to Minnesota a couple months ago. So I think she'll do fine. She'll probably sleep most of the time. Also, just because she's a pretty content baby overall, I think we'll be fine. Ace is trying to grab this stuff out of my hand. Why do you think this is for you? <laughs> You're gonna go see your friends. Oh, I should not say that. He probably knows what that means. He's probably picturing Ashley's dogs right now. You're not gonna go see them. I'm gonna put this little blanket in her suitcase too, and then I'm gonna have her wear this tomorrow. I'm gonna try to give her a bath in the morning if I have enough time because she is technically supposed to have a bath tomorrow and we're not gonna do one while we're on the trip. So I wanna do it before we leave. Update, it's almost midnight now and this is all I have in my suitcase. Two pairs of shorts, one shirt, and my pajamas. Why do I do this to myself every time I go somewhere? I really don't even know what to pack. I think I just need some casual outfits so I keep telling myself to just throw some stuff in there. But for some reason I just, I don't know what to put in. For the last hour probably, I was literally just like lost in the preemie hashtag on Instagram. Just scrolling through posts of babies and preemies. I love looking at all those things on Instagram and seeing all the little tiny babies. I remember the night that I went into the hospital and they had told me that I was going to have my baby at 33 weeks while we were hoping to make it to 34 weeks. I remember going on like the preemie hashtag and the 33 week hashtag and the preeclampsia hashtag, all of those and just scrolling and scrolling and I kept showing my family all the pictures of the little babies and being like, look at this one, she was born at 33 weeks and she's this big now and like look at this one because obviously I was scared and it just helped. So even now when I post pictures of Quinn, even though she's older, I still put all those hashtags just in case there's another mom out there laying in a hospital bed, scrolling through the 33 week baby hashtag, knowing that her baby is about to be born at 33 weeks and wanting to know if everything's gonna be okay. I just remember how much comfort that brought me to see babies that looked like you wouldn't even know they were born so early and that was how it was gonna be for my baby. Okay, it's quite a bit later. I finished packing everything that I think I'm gonna pack as far as clothes. I just need to put in like my shower stuff and my toothbrush and all that kind of stuff in the morning. And then I do still need to pack a bunch of Quinn stuff as far as like her bottles and stuff for eating and my pump and all that stuff. But I'll do that in the morning too because I still need to use some of that stuff. Hi guys, it's the next day. We're at the vet right now. Ace knows where we are. I'm about to drop him off for boarding and my best friend Ashley's actually at the house with Quinn. We're about to leave. Eric's just loading up Quinn and then we're gonna go. We're actually not too far off schedule. We told ourselves we needed to leave by 10, so we technically would leave by 11 because we knew we wouldn't actually leave at 10 and we definitely wanted to be leaving by 11. And it's not 11 yet. I actually don't know what time it is. It's 10.45, so we're 15 minutes early. The car is so full of baby stuff. Her mamaru is just chilling in the back. First stop of the trip is Chick-fil-A. It's been so long since we've been here. At least for me. Have you long. been here recently? Not without you. Yeah, it's been quite a while. We just got a free sandwich survey on our receipt. Tell us what you got, babe. Eight count nugget meal. That's his go-to. Yeah. And fries. I actually ordered a deluxe sandwich and they gave me a spicy deluxe, but it's totally fine because I really couldn't decide if I wanted spicy or regular, so I just got regular, but now I have spicy and fries. That I stashed in the door. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted. But looking back, I can see it's all clear. I'm still a kid trying to act like they all taught me. Guys, this camper says ace. We're over halfway. It keeps like raining on and off, and a little bit ago, it was 
pouring rain on the car and right next to us like in the sky it was blue skies and sunny it was kind of weird but also speaking of ace the border always puts pictures of him on snapchat or of all the dogs that are at doggy daycare and they put the cutest picture of him so i'll put it in here because i screenshotted it it looks like he got in the dog pool how's it going driver good i was tired earlier but i'm fine though because i'm grilling him with cre with questions <laughs> the only way for me to stay awake is for my like music or anything doesn't work for me my mind has to like think about stuff so Kara's grilling me with questions to make me think. Yeah, I looked up like questionnaires for dating couples on Pinterest and it's actually really fun. We do this, it seems like we've done this on road trips before, yeah. like some kind of a questionnaire. One On one road trip we did like, a, I looked up a spelling bee list and it was common words that are actually really commonly misspelled and we did that and that was really fun. Stopped at a coffee place. This we is some kind of a raspberry frappuccino. Sounds oh, no. really good. Uh, Look who's awake. Little baby Quinny. Are you out of your car seat? Finally. She's about to eat. I'm gonna change her and then she's gonna eat. She tries to hold her bottle now. She'll always, usually she'll put like both hands up on the sides and she can't hold it herself, but it's so cute that she wants to hold on to it. Also, her milk is like ice cold. We've had it in a cold pack the whole way here. We forgot to take it out and let it like get a little warmer and we don't really have a way to heat it up right now. But she doesn't seem to mind. She's chugging it. We're about to leave and get back on the road. Quinn drank her bottle. She drank a lot. It's also thundering and lightning. It's about to storm. But we actually just got something from Taco Bell too. We got a drink from the coffee place and then we got some Taco Bell, so. I don't want to put her back in her car seat though. I had her out when we went through the Taco Bell drive-thru. I was holding her and the girls at the window were like, she's such a cute baby. I feel so bad putting her back in. Eric's telling me to hurry up so we can get on the road, so I'll update you later. Welcome to Kentucky. Oh my goodness. Babe, I have a vlog of us going over this bridge and it says, welcome to Kentucky. Yes. On our way to Florida. Welcome to Kentucky. We just got welcomed to Kentucky by Google Maps. If any of you live in Kentucky, hi. <laughs> but nothing makes sense anymore. We're going for a walk and it looks like we're about to get stormed on. And I just saw some pretty cool lightning too. Hi. Hi cutie. Watching the sunset. Getting some good sunset. Yep. Okay. Show us your cute ears. back home and Quinn is being so cute right now. Are you talking? What are you saying? She pretty much slept the entire trip. Oh no. 
she pretty much slept the whole trip and then when we were like 30 minutes from home or maybe a little bit more she woke up and realized she was hungry we did stop once and feed her but we technically should have stopped twice but we were like she's sleeping let's just try to make it home my dad went and picked up ace for us from the border so he was here when we got home and he's getting groomed tomorrow i'm so excited for him to get groomed his fur is so long right now and he's actually pretty matted what are you talking <laughs> We thought that when we went to Minnesota. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. I just pulled up to the groomer and I'm gonna take Ace in. He has no idea where we are, but he's still excited. <laughs> We've never been to this place. I'm hoping they do a good job because he's very matted and he's never been groomed here, but I mean, if they do a bad job or if they have to shave him down because he's matted, at least it'll grow back. Ace, you wanna show everyone your haircut? Guys, he's so naked. <laughs> they had to shave his tail down, which has never happened. Like his tail has always been so fluffy and this is the first time that they had to like actually pretty much just shave it down. Are you embarrassed? Eric and I kept making jokes last night about like how embarrassed he was of how he looks. He still looks so cute. Like I'm glad they could leave his face fluffy, but his body was a lost cause, which I figured would happen. What do you think? What do you think? She's been talking over here so much. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm actually about to end this video because I'm about to go on a walk with my mom. I do not know where to put this. Um, okay, I'm about to go on a walk with my mom and I wanted to finish my video first or end it first because when we get back, Eric's gonna be getting home from work and it's just gonna be kind of busy the rest of the night and I wanna start editing this later tonight. Are you talking? She's so happy. <laughs> Look how happy you are. <laughs> I want to start doing something new on my vlogs. I would really like to start at the end or at some point during each video doing one shout out and one like channel recommendation or somebody else that I would recommend to you to watch. <laughs> oh my. For the longest time, I just thought I was going to make like a whole video about channels that I like to watch and do shout outs, but honestly, I keep just not filming it and I don't know why, but I think I would like to do this better. Just like every video have someone that I give a shout out to, or maybe sometimes I'll do two shout outs and not any channel recommendations, or maybe I'll do two channel recommendations and no shout outs or whatever, you get the point. But today I'm gonna do one of each. So the shout out is gonna go to Robin Sides, and Robin comments on pretty much every video and always leaves a, leaves a nice comment. And thank you, Robin, for watching my videos and supporting and always being sweet. And then my channel recommendation, most of these, sometimes they'll be like a small YouTuber, sometimes they'll be a big YouTuber that you might already watch. Honestly, they're just gonna be like people that I enjoy watching and that I would recommend to watch because nowadays I feel like I'm not the best at keeping up with people's channels, but when I was, I was always looking for new people. So today's channel is going to be a small YouTuber that is probably about to be huge. And if you wanna watch somebody before they get huge, you need to watch her. Her channel is called Miss Katie, and she's actually 15, I think. And honestly, she's probably the youngest person that I watch because pretty much most of the people I watch are like around my age or even older or maybe a little younger. I'm about to turn 25 in September and I can't believe she's like 10 years younger than me because I don't feel like it when I'm watching her. And if you watch her, you'll probably feel the same way. You'll be like, how is she 15? I don't know. Maybe she's 16. Sorry, Katie. But she's somewhere around there and I love her vlogs. Personally, I really appreciate when I'm watching someone's videos and their editing is just as good or just as entertaining as the content that's in the videos. Maybe that's just because I make videos, but I like really, really appreciate good editing. And I love her editing style so much. she It's obvious that she puts a lot of thought into it before filming her videos. 
she's in the process of moving right now. Her family's moving houses, so there's moving vlogs, and um, she does a lot of vlogs with like her friend group, going to the beach with friends. She lives in California, and honestly, I love watching it because it reminds me of just hanging out with my friends back in high school. But anyway, if you guys do, <laughs> Okay, I need to hurry. If you guys do end up checking out any of these channels that I recommend, it would mean so, so much to me if you guys would just leave them a comment and let them know that I recommended them to you. Just as a YouTuber, when another YouTuber um, supports you or recommends your channel, it means so, so much. So I would love if you guys let them know that I sent you. Check out Miss Katie, I'll link her channel below. Um, and I think that's gonna be all because Quinn definitely wants to go on this walk Even though she doesn't know that's what we're even about to do But I will see you guys in a couple days with a new video and don't forget to enter the diaper bag giveaway If you haven't yet even if you don't need a diaper bag It's such a nice gift like a birthday gift for a mom or a Christmas gift or like I said It even looks like a purse or maybe I didn't say that in this video, but in that video Okay, I will see you guys soon. Bye Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed We were free